Oh my gosh, I remember. This was painful. Okay, pay attention if you're learning electronics. Uh, this might save you months of frustration. The computer engineers all got together and pulled the nastiest trick on everyone else. And that is each of these terms, uh, there'll be things that you're learning along the way while you try out electronics. They all mean the same thing. So you purchase a cool little sensor and then you're asking, how much volts do I give to it and where do I put that in? And then you'll find out, oh, sometimes they call it V in. That's where you provide your 3.3 volts. And then you'll have another one and it won't even say V in anymore. They changed it to VCC, but that also means 3.3 volts. And they're gonna keep on changing it and never be consistent. And during some situations, each of these will mean 3.3 volts. This is the logic voltage or logic level voltage of typical chips, that's 3.3. The TTL, TTL voltage is the voltage at which transistor transistor logic takes place. So sending a value of one or high from one transistor to another is going to happen at this voltage. The pulled up state of a pin that is output or input on a circuit board that is performing communications between circuits, that pulled up state will also be 3.3 volts. The pin, if it is designated to be in the high condition, that's gonna be 3.3 volts. And one, if you're speaking uh, in computer logic and you're asking about the voltage of the pin that is condition one in the script, that's 3.3 volts. And then usually the boards also maybe VCC if you power the board using 3.3 volts. Then why don't they just say that? Well, each individual term has some nuance to it and we want to be very precise in certain situations where there are differences, but for the beginner level, it would sure help a lot for you to know that they're, they are related and often interchanged. Um, this is one of those things that can get you stuck on a project, but nobody teaches it because uh, it's like when you figure it out, it seems so obvious. But then 10 figure it outs later is where the experts are. When the experts give you instruction, they forgot there was ever a time when they didn't know. I hope that it's not just me who got lost and frustrated with this, but I came in as a mechanical engineer. I was seeking precision. And then the day that tipped me over the edge was the day I found out that even three volts means 3.3 .3 volts sometimes.